Before 1984, there was only one type of zombie movie, scary zombie movies. And then this bad boy came out, and then we realized, oh, we can have fun with zombies. Let's talk about Return of the Living Dead. What up? Bobo here with Brass Road Brothers. Thanks for coming back for some more popcorns. So in 1968, George A. Romero unleashed upon the world Night of the Living Dead, the first official zombie movie that caught a lot of people's attention. Now there have been zombie movies before this, but this was the real one that sort of set the standard for what we know today for zombies. Not only was it an awesome and spooky, gory movie at the time, but it also had this cool undertone of a social commentary. And all of the George A. Romero dead films going forward all had an underlying social commentary theme. But then in 1984, this movie right here, Return of the Living Dead, came out, and everybody right off thought it was another George A. Romero film. Why wouldn't you? At this point, George A. Romero had put out Night of the Living Dead, then 10 years later, the ultra classic Dawn of the Dead. And it wasn't until later in the 80s that he actually did another dead film called Day of the Dead. So this Return of the Living Dead was an insert, but at the time, everybody kind of believed that it was just another dead film. This movie is the furthest thing from that. First off, it's a super parody. It's a horror, but it's a comedy horror. It's got plenty of awesome gore in it, but it's also just so self-aware and so fun to watch. Even though people going into this movie weren't expecting what they actually saw, by the time they got done with it, they realized what it was supposed to be and they loved it. And this movie has become huge in the horror community over the decades. It's really, really spooky. It's gory as hell. It's not really all that scary, but it wasn't really intended to be. It was supposed to just give you these fun, sort of haunted house Halloween vibes, but like you're at a party. I just want a party. And it is such a sign of the 80s, like 80s at its peak. Like if somebody asked me, what movie would you recommend for us to watch? It's like just an awesome uber 80s horror film. I'd be like, how about Return of the Living Dead? Cause it's so rock and roll. It's got so many 80s actors in it. The soundtrack. in the dark of the night. All the clothes that everybody's wearing, it's just the whole movie is just wrapped up into this awesome 80s noir package. The Return of the Living Dead. But the main three people it really focuses on are Tom Matthews, Jimmy Karen, and Clue Gallagher, which all three of them are hilarious, especially Jimmy Karen. His over-the-top acting and the way he's just freaking out when these zombies are doing stuff. <laughs> It's just perfect. Nobody else could have made this role to what it was, and he definitely contributes to what the film is. That goddamn chemicals! It's all over everything! Stupid asshole! Watch your tongue, boy, if you like this job! Like this job! But it's also got the great horror queen goddess, Linnea Quigley, who's naked practically the entire film, which, come on, I'm not gonna deny that that's awesome. But you also have Miguel A. Nunez Jr., who is the same guy that was in Friday the 13th Part 5. You gotta get it, bitch. Ooh, baby, ooh, baby. Ooh, baby, ooh, baby. Ooh, baby, ooh, baby. Ooh, baby, ooh, baby. It's them damn enchiladas. Love it. But they're all part of this, like, punk rock crowd, this crew that's running around town causing muck. And that's like another side story that's separate from Tom Matthews, Clue Gallagher, and Jimmy Karen. And it's all awesome. All the acting is so 80s and over the top. Do you ever fantasize about being killed? Never. And pretty quickly you realize that, oh, we're watching kind of a parody comedy horror film here. Because at one moment, Jimmy Karen and Tom Matthews are talking about the Night of the Living Dead movie, and they're referring to how you do things. Did you see that movie? Night of the Living Dead. Then later on, when the zombies are attacking him, he's like, that's not how it worked in the movies. I thought you said if we destroyed the brain, it'd die. It worked in the movie. Well, it ain't working now, Frank. You mean the movie line? Uh. <laughs> God, Jimmy Karen, so awesome. And their lore on zombies is really cool, too, because they can kind of talk a little bit. Their whole thing is they need to eat brains to survive. And they just walk around, brains, brains. 
And they got this whole like half cadaver dog thing. These Get it! other cadavers in this freezer and at first there's this like yellow cadaver running around just ah, ah. <laughs> it's so funny looking and then this axe pick goes into the back of his head and they cut his head off And again, Jimmy Karen, priceless. Oh, Jesus. And then they got the famous rubber man zombie that every, you know, the whole. <laughs> That's become iconic and you'll see people dressed up as that as Halloween. And at the time that makeup was awesome. Then there's a like paraplegic zombie or like the quadriplegic, just watch this. <laughs> was awesome every time i watch it i'm just like holy sh then they find this one zombie that's like just the upper torso part her name's tina she's all like emaciated and she's talking to him and telling him like it hurts to be a zombie that's why they need the brains so it could like kill the pain and what about the pain the pain of being dead i just thought that was a really cool thing to add to the zombie lore and then you got the part with the end where the cops are killed and the zombies are talking on the cb radios in the cop car talking about send more cops send more cops like i said as soon as you start watching this movie from the get-go the music everything you start to realize oh we're about to have a little fun with this zombie movie and not be like terrified but it still has all the gore and all the horror tropes everything it's just a lot of fun and because of the super spooky vibe that it has it's a great one to watch at halloween time in my opinion so i give return of the living dead an a plus well, that'll do it for this review, guys. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button so you can tip us back to the top. And as always, if life gives you lemons, make some hot fresh.